In this, our second episode of NSFW, we are joined by special guest Veronica Belmont as me, Justin, and Veronica battle to see who has the best BS detector. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This, this is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode two Secrets or BS. This episode of NSFW brought to you by the new voice activated sync featuring hands free calling, music and podcast search, and turn by turn navigation. Available exclusively on Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. For more details, visit SyncMyRidePodcast.com. And to enter to win a free Nano or Zune, send a tweet with hashtag SyncMyRidePodcast. This is it. It is go time for the brand new show, the show that most certainly is now serving fantastic waffles. It's NSFW, the only show dedicated to late night gaming and internet culture. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood. I put the BB in NSFW. Some of you guys may have seen me on a show called Scam School. That is a professionally done show that's suitable for the entire family. This is not that show. This is a show that's much more like a toddler beating on a drum. Sometimes the language gets a little bit naughty. And if you're very good, you'll find out what the story behind this magical photo is. I am joined by my co-host, Mr. Justin Robert Young the first. Justin Robert Young, how have you been, sir? Oh, I've been waiting all week for uh, for Tuesday night. I am so glad to be back in all of your lives. I, you know what? I was waiting for the sarcasm, but uh, I did not dis- detect any no, sarcasm. No, sir. That was that was real deal. I felt genuine love just then. Genuine. <laughs> well, I tell you who the audience is definitely feeling genuine love for. It is our new co-host for this particular episode. It is Miss Veronica Belmont from Core and from Techzilla. How are you, Veronica? I'm great. How are you? I couldn't believe it. I and, and this and I mean this in a purely platonic, co-hosty, non-sexual way. But I felt a little bit like I couldn't believe <laughs> somebody said yes to a date when I was just like, hey, I do a terrible show on the Twit Network, and I would like you to appear on it, and you didn't even wait to really hear what it was about. You're like, sure, whatever. I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> this is Tuesday night. What else am I going to do, right? It was oh, awesome, but I have dude. to ask, so I, I have to assume that you are on Team Waffles when it comes down to the epic, the epic battle between waffles and pancakes. Ah, uh, you know what? I skirt the whole issue. I sit on the sidelines with bacon. Me and bacon are like sharing a cigarette. Oh, hey, listen. No, 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 no. There's no no splitting hairs on this one, Schwood. You gotta gotta make a choice. You gotta make a choice now, publicly. All right. Waffles have the pockets. I'm all about the waffles. Anything that holds... You have the flavor pockets. Freaking pancakes, they're a giant sponge. They're the blob. They just reach out and they suck up all the syrup and then they hold it. But they're basically just like thin cake. Yeah, no, but but they suck up all the... Anything that sucks up the syrup and then keeps me from tasting the syrup is an epic failure, in my opinion. I don't know. Where are you on that? But on bunnies, that bunnies do not put waffles on their heads. They put pancakes on their heads. But I'm sorry. Did you? That sounded like you said bunnies. You said bunnies. Yeah, yeah, bunnies. They put pancakes on their heads, not waffles. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, on NSFW, breaking the bunny <laughs> wearing pancakes on their heads stories. Wait, you don't know that? No, no, I don't know that. What is that? I thought I'm that was baffled, ca- kind of common knowledge, actually. It is now. Now that it's been, now that it's out. I mean, Google you know it. Google this pancake bun. You'll see what I'm talking about. Show, I mean, I'm not crazy way, Brian, because we've been ignorant to this the entire time, and I'm now glad. finally we can figure it out. The chat room. By the way, I do have to take a moment to acknowledge our staff writers here. The chat room. Anytime you hear us say something particularly hilarious, we are almost certainly ripping it off from the chat room and giving them absolutely no credit and certainly no money here on NSFW. Do you know what game we're playing today, Veronica? Do you know what this is? No. You don't know? You really don't know? Justin, you, no. want, you, want, you want to let her know? You want to play? You want to tell her what's uh, what? Oh, oh, God, yes. I mean, that's why we've all been gathered here. Uh, we're playing a little game we like to call Secrets or BS. It's very simple, Veronica. We've had everybody go ahead and send us in what uh, are either deep, dark secrets, uh, to which they've told nobody on a massive public scale, and we won't share their name. It's going to be anonymous. These are really, like, never admit except to your 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 closest lovers in your darkest hours, right? Uh, or they can try and totally, you know, hose us and write a complete fabrication, and it is our job to decide which one is which. Is it either a secret for which no one should ever know or absolute horse apples? 
Exactly. That's why we call the game Secrets or BS, and that's why I made this fancy graphic that shows a nuclear bomb exploding with the word Secrets or BS that I'm about to put on the screen right about now. Do you have any questions before we move forward? This is a big deal. This is a serious game. This is, no, this is your ability to snuff out the nasty. Uh, well, can, but, can we ask, can we ask ooh. Veronica, you know, what, what are, are you, you get a pretty keen lie detector on you in general? How do you think you're going to fare in this game? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm pretty gullible, actually. I, I am, uh, so. you know, we, we did a practice game the other day, me and Justin. I, I didn't fare too well. I, and Justin, what impressed me was not the parts that Justin thought was fake, because he thinks everything's fake, but, uh, but the no, parts that I he actually... I think the fake ones are fake, Brian. Well, well I mean, that's whatever it was. It blew, it blew me away. I couldn't believe it, because it totally, totally believed it. By the way, Justin, did you get the super secret backdoor file? Because for the last week, we've had people submit their stories, <laughs> whether or not uh, they're true or BS, and they indicate whether or not they're true or BS, and they have evidence if they're true. Do you have that super secret link no, just to Robert Young? nobody gave me the uh, the back the back door. And key. you know what the problem no is? Is if I was thinking ahead, I would have actually emailed that appropriately. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the this is super ridiculous. secret. This is ridiculous. Uh, I tell you what, Veronica, I just sent over one to you that you right, are. Hey, can able... we will we pull down that one? <laughs> What's that? The one with the uh, the, the oh wait, you're, oh you're looking at one right now. Sorry, sorry about that. The show is called NSFW, so I don't have to feel bad about, about that. <laughs> For those of you guys listening to the audio podcast, I may have just left uh, one of the stories a little bit the exposed. Person, yeah, the person on there, they love, let's just say that there's somebody who's pro- pro- proclaiming love for a rooster. That's right. Over and over and over and over They again. love the roosters. Okay, I have sent both of you guys I the link. The snuff one. No peekies. No peekies. I sent you guys the thing to the thing, and uh, I tell you what, we'll start <laughs> off with the first one. <clears throat> All right, you ready? Man, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ready. I guess, you know what? And and the, keep in mind, none of us have read any of these. We don't know how good or bad they are. They were curated by our inimitable chat room moderator, TL. Uh, Twit Colleen is very excited to be watching this over in the corner. All right. The first one <clears throat> says, right. secret. And this is secret. In high school, I was part of our senior class officers. Our job was to plan for the all-night grad party as well as pick our class song. We decided that no matter what class song, we would merge the song into Jackal's She Loves My Cock, which I assume is a game bird. It's, it's, a, it's a hen. <laughs> well, we, yeah, South Carolina. Uh, right. We ended, up, we ended up picking Schools Out by Alice Cooper, a fantastic song, but a little cliche for a class song. It was my job to bring the disc on our graduation ceremony. The principal checked to make sure that it was indeed Alice Cooper. So the principal even checked beforehand. Oh, the opening riff played, and he turned it off quickly. Uh, at the end, they announced congratulations to the... They turned it off quickly. Well, that's weird. At the end, they announced congratulations to class of 2007. The opening to Schools Out played as balloons dropped... After the first school's out for summer, it merged into Jesse James Dupree yelling, loves my C-O-C uh, Q. If you spell it differently, <laughs> is it a curse word? Does that fix it? Well, I mean, cock is a bird. I mean, there's a South it Carolina is a bird. game cocks. It is, and I'm pretty sure it's yeah. a song about a guy who loves a bird. Uh, th- exactly. For 30 seconds, the song continued to play before it was yanked off the loudspeaker. Later that night, when I, raved at the all- when I arrived at the all-night grad party, I was met by the principal and multiple staff members saying that what I did was disrespectful and I should be punished. Not only did I not get to enter the all-night grad party, but I also had to issue a public apology to the school board at a meeting in September before I issued my diploma. What say you, Professor Expert of Lies, Justin Robert Do you really want to go with me first? Because I'm just going to call this one. Uh, well, you know, and everyone's just going to piggyback on the fact that I'm always right. I thing. actually know. Can I tell you what? Actually, we'll, we'll do Veronica. 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 What's yeah. your read on this? Lays real first. or real? I say real. You say real. I say, I say real. real because I've heard stories of really nasty cruise ship magicians who have pissed off their the the people who run the tech so bad that like the very last night they took his music which was on cassette tape back in the day and they took like 30 seconds in the middle of his illusion song and they covered it they overdubbed it with por- porno soundtrack you know with the women screaming and the dudes grunting and the and the wow chicken wow and uh they just they gave him back the tape and said see you see you next year and so that guy at whatever his next show is presumably was halfway through his illusion thing. He was in the middle of doing these things, the, the, you know, da, 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 da. And then all of a sudden it was like, ah, and then that was it. Like Gob. Like, like, like Gob. Yeah, exactly. A magician <laughs> called Gob. George Oscar Blue. 
Um, Call it, dude. Yeah, no, this is real deal. This is realer than real deal, Holyfield. Yeah, Ryan, I this agree. This is so real. This is 100% and it's all real. the hallmarks of a genuine prank. And what are those hall- hallmarks? Uh, listen, there's only so much high school graduation. High school, yes. Cl- people clearly graduate from high school all the time. No, all but right. what I'm saying is that they always do this kind of prank. It's nope. totally typical. You nailed it. Okay, and yeah. the answer is do you have any kind of sound effects ready for us, jo- uh, Justin? All right, here we go. Uh, the answer yes. is it is fake. Oh. No. 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 Whoa. Three of us. Really? And we all got fake? so sucked in. Get out which, of town. Which is a very troubling. Number one, I'm glad this one was a first. great writer. Very, oh, very my troubling. gosh. I can't and believe you that. Through the you chat know, the, room. The 14th point jury, uh, uh, you know, uh, the computer system of figuring out absolute fake stories. And this one passed all of them. Oh, my I God. I was nowhere near this one being, yeah. uh, being a lie. My I confidence shocked. is shattered. Uh, shocked. Let, let, let me tell you, I think I think the audience stepped up their game. I don't think any of us were prepared for the level of deception and chicanery, the level of tomfoolery here. I, I can't believe this wow. thing. Okay, well. Good on you, and guy. And Rick Foster. Can we just go ahead and give a, a, a good Rick Foster in the chat Rick room. Foster. Congratulations. Very holy, well done, sir. Holy. Holy cow. Okay, look, let's bring it up next one. Uh, you want to read the next one, Justin? Do you have that stuff loaded up yet? Sure, sure. Uh, uh, you am read I it. just picking anyone I want? Uh, yeah, do the next one. We'll just go in order, because I know the ones near the beginning are some of the better ones. I can't believe that. Okay, I can't. So I'm, I'm, doing the one, I'm doing the one after this. The one, one after the first one. We did the first one. That would be the second one. No, and no, the, no. The one I had had three above it. What? The page I have has three above the one that you just Oh, read. well, maybe it's been updated. Yes, it has been updated. So go back to the beginning then. Go back to okay, the beginning. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, here it goes. Okay, this is a little long, but it's a pretty epic story. Someone I know, uh, someone who knows me has called me many things. Uh, one of the most uttered is Dick, and I don't mean Richard. Uh, I guess he means... Classy. <laughs> Classy guy. Classy. <laughs> Uh, I I'll, really leave it, I'll leave it to your imagination what I do mean, but I don't mean Richard, sir. No, <laughs> I no, do not no, actually means, mean that course, my name is, in fact, Richard. <laughs> that may be my British name. dessert, Spotted Dick, I believe is... Uh, <laughs> okay, go, 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 go ahead. I was thinking Dick is just a freshman in the gym locker room one December. I noticed that my locker next to me was not locked. I also noticed that the person it belonged to was Jacob Wilson, a scrawny weird guy who fancied himself a manga artist. Being the dick that I am, I had the most ingenious plan. I nabbed all of his clothes and uh, threw them about five feet outside the locker room door in clear view of the girls' class playing volleyball. (laughs) By the way, I love that this is his ingenious plan. It's like there's exactly Exactly. one step and it's throw away his clothes. Genius! (laughs) This guy, he's a regular Danny Ocean. This guy (laughs) with his elaborate (laughs) plan that has finally come to fruition. All the pieces click into place. Uh, my partner in crime, a greasy little metalhead named Brandon, grabbed all of the towels off the rack and put them in his locker. A few minutes later, after Jacob had finished his shower and cursing loudly that the janitor didn't restock the towel rack yet again, began to walk to his locker. He stopped dead, standing completely nude and wet. And when he just saw outside the door his tidy whitey's jeans and lame purple V-neck T-shirt, he shouted an expletive that is indeed NSFW. Hey! Hey, there we go. Bonus points for tying in the name of the show. That's like the drinking game where whenever you're at a movie and they say the name of the movie in the dialogue, you have to drink. So everybody drink. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, after coming to the conclusion, there was no one in the locker room at the time uh, that was going to help him. He made a mad dash to the clothes, being still wet from the shower. About two feet from his clothes, he slipped and landed flat on his back. And then the entire class of junior girls looked to see him buck naked, spread eagle on the gym floor. All right. This he is sub- tough. It's no evidence. This yes, yes evidence no. submitted equals none, and uh, but it is, and it's submitted by submitted by one of our regulars, Pete Fick, in the chat room. Uh, you Wait, know I what? thought we weren't reading the names on the. I thought well, we you know, hey, this isn't bad. <laughs> this isn't bad about him. If it he was truly, dick. yeah. If it was, uh, well, truly, he's a pretty big dick, Brian. Okay, well that's Even true. If Hang he on. Made that up, he's still a dick. That's because <laughs> he thought of it. <laughs> exactly. Uh, ch- chat room is, is all calling BS. I got a call, probably true, and I'm for- maybe I'm going down the same path over and over again maybe i've got the insanity thing going on but i think that the same logic that made me think the first one was true makes me think that this one is true we'll go we'll do we'll do justin next um god I, the first one I, I can't even begin to tell you how much the first one completely screwed my my detector on i know this. My yeah, your confidence has like has been Beep. destroyed i'm shattered uh I'm, I'm listen i'm gonna get back on the horse on this one and i'm gonna call it fake really yeah. I am. 
All right. Fake. You I whoa. say fake. Three. Oh, there we so, go. So I'm alone on this Good one. Call. Oh, Good call, All right. Chat Good room. Call. Chat room. Real or fake? We'll see. We'll see if the chat room. They were saying fake early on, but we'll we'll get a we'll get a feel for them really fast here. They're all just saying PS uh, BS pure BS. Call it fake. All right. Let's see. Uh, man, I'm a little bit worried. You better cue up the Brian Screwed <laughs> sound effect. <laughs> Oh, come on! Yay! All right. Well played, lady and gentlemen. You guys are dancing, and I'm crying alone. Oh, you guys are killing me. Woo! All right. Hey! Why is the international Ryan keyboard Bagley cat dance, belongs. by the way? That's the last place. I thought, I thought this was... Does. I thought, this was, yeah. way up the, up I thought this was international keyboard cat dance. You got to do the... No, uh, that, no, no, no. The, that was, this is a victory dance. Keyboard cat there is just to symbolize that it's a fake story. Yeah, no, I know, I know, but you guys, you guys were doing the keyboard cans, uh, uh, the the keyboard cat dance. Eh, That was just a victory shimmy. That was a V for victory shimmy. Little victory shimmy, I like that. Okay, well, screw you guys. You're both ahead of me by a million percent, an infinite percent. Wow, you want to read this awesome. next one, Veronica? Whichever one you want. Just pick one out of the, out Which of the group. Is, just pick one? Yeah, just pick one. Because apparently they're okay. all in weird shuffled order for everyone. Let's do another believe. high school story. Another high school. We're stuck on a theme. Another Go for high it. school. Tales from high school. During my first year of high school, I had to deal with the harassment of a real jackass of a kid. It got to a head when, right in front of me, this douchebag made a bet with a few other kids that I would never get laid in the entirety of my high school career. Indignant, I set out to make him eat his words. Not only did I succeed shortly thereafter, but for the first time at bat, managed to land the jerk's girlfriend. Afterwards, she told him, and I, in an act of mercy, agreed to the blubbering idiot that I would not reveal my epic ownage to anyone. Many years have passed, and I have until now upheld my end of the secret. Of course, I can't be sure about the girl. Oh, man, you know what? I want to call this one fake because it's so self-congratulatory. And, and yeah. like it starts like a, a penthouse forum letter. Uh, but I don't know. I'm, I'm too chicken. I don't even want to go first. Justin, you call it, and I'll just, just say whatever you do. Would you just see the keyboard cat? What is that? Yeah, I know the keyboard cat's uh, running running around here. Sorry, um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go ahead and um, oh god, I wish. Here's the thing: I wish I would have known who was in here because I think I picked up the the idea is that the ones who who saw the show before yes know what we're looking for. Yeah, and but think- but yeah, look, look, you just just assume that <laughs> they're, they're always out to get you, and there's no way to know. Here's here's the clues. First of all, this person wanted to stay anonymous, which actually to me maybe means they're a little bit uh, like they want to keep. You their know secret. what? I'm gonna say this is true because this reads to me like a real confession. Like somebody swore he would never tell, and this is his opportunity to tell. I'm gonna I'm gonna and, go and on by, record. I think by it's the true. Way, considering the fact that this is a, just a story of him knowing a young woman in the, in the biblical sense. I'm very curious to see what the evidence is. That is linked. <laughs> the, ev- the evidence. It was your mom. There is evidence. <laughs> yeah, there is evidence. I was kind of hoping it was going to be the guy's mom. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I was kind of hoping it was going to go there for some reason. <laughs> that would like, have been it was awesome. really epically awful, but All right. it would have been really One funny. of you go. Justin, Veronica. Not what? real. Not oh. real. So you not say it's real. not real, Justin. What about you, Veronica? I'm going to have to go with the chat room on this one and say fake. Oh, damn it. Now I'm alone again. I'm going to be left behind. Well, now, oh, Brian, I hate you, know, listen, you, you are put in a very interesting you know, uh, situation. You could go and gain right now. The only move for you to make is. Uh, I already is, said, is I already said, true. I think I'm going to put it down as true. I'm going to go for a power play. I already said, I think it's true. And let's find out, I guess. Oh, man, I don't know. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, wait, wait. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Chat room got it. They all got it. They're all strutting around <laughs> like cocks of the walk. Oh, by the way, they're, they're chat room. They're, they're still sending me that they think it's real, <laughs> even after we just showed it as being false. All so, right. Can we see the evidence? What's that? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see what what, what is the evidence. Well, there's no well, evidence. By the way, it's it was fake. false evidence. <laughs> You're not supposed to read the evidence. Oh my God, you read the oh, evidence. I didn't see, the, I didn't see the evidence. We're allowed to click on that. Well, no, 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 no. no That's no, no, only we're not, if, we're not allowed to click on it. If somebody claims that it's real, they have to have something to back it up. So we can't, you know, that way we've okay. got a way to be like, okay, you're clearly full of it. Holy got cow! It. 
I can't believe it's 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 two to two to zero. I hate you, but I love you. Okay, I'll do another one. I'm gonna pick one. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play scroll roulette here and pick a random scroll one. Scroll roulette, and also we. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Did you see that title there? Okay. Yes, I did. All right. Here we go. This one looks like a real secret right at the beginning because it starts off. I'm about four and in preschool. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Can we do accents now that we're through the first round? Yes. You know accents? what? I'm gonna do my my terrible terrible Casey Kasem. <laughs> do the Casey Kasem accent. <laughs> I, I, I actually I'm trying to remember what Casey Kasem sounded like. I'm about four and in preschool. It's recess and I go to play with a girl <laughs> I'd befriended. What did we play? Why house, of course. What girl doesn't want to play house? I could have played with the other kids, but I had other plans. We sat down in the little playhouse, and she's blathering on about some pretend nonsense. I mentioned something about peepees. Of course, yes. <laughs> I asked her if it she has It always goes to peepees, doesn't it? <laughs> you know what? That's sort of an allegory for this show in general, I think, at this point. <laughs> We, exactly. sat down, we sat down at the little playhouse, and she's blathering on about some pretend nonsense. Uh, she's interested. I pull down the front of my pants and I expose my pen 15. She giggles, saying something like, that's weird. What are you doing? Some kid must have heard the conversation, and now he's interested. I yell at him to go away. He's not allowed in our house. He gets butt hurt and runs off. Okay, that's all. <laughs> That sounds like a different story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's the one that right there tells me that this has got to be 100% true. And this kid has to be exactly 14 years old. Can I see yours? I ask the girls. She says, but I don't have one. She pulls down her front show. Just as it happens, I hear, what's going on here? Oh, yes, it's the effing teacher. The little person must have talked. Just my luck, too, that she's a woman. She goes on a tirade on how wrong it was for us to behave this way. I get got kicked out of that preschool. And not sure what happened to my friend, though. Never saw her again. Show real or fake. He got kicked out? I, I, it's preschool, you know. It's just, you know, hey, you know Be what? Your kids, kids play doctor. Big freaking doing? whoop. Oh, man. Chat room. Chat room thinks it's 100% BS. A lot of people so say done. BS. So done. Yep. So you, fake. So fake. So fake. So fake. So you know fake, what? So I'm going to go with you true. guys. This is, like, this is like Tiger Woods alibi fake. That is how <laughs> fake this story is. I'm saying true. I'm saying true. I'm putting myself out on a limb here. You know what? I, my gut says true because that could be, that seems like a kind of story that would be true. Oh, for chat this, rooms. Reason, for chat this room. reason, he would have never gotten kicked out of that school. Okay. Uh, you know what? This is a long time ago. 10, 10, 15, 20 years. Who knows? I'm going to say true as well. I'm going to join with, <laughs> welcome to last place here because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be wrong. <laughs> Are you ready? You ready? You ready? It is. I must fail. Fake, oh. come on. Fail. How can I be zero? The chat room is all yelling true. They were all yelling true. Now they're yelling fake. Oh, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Oh, all right. Sorry, baby. Come on. Come all on. All right. Well, I'll get right here. Riding, when when Jerry good. goes first. That's the makeup. Jerry goes first and gives you uh, the, the, the inside skin. The answer. The real it. work. You got to the... grab the tail of the dragon. Right? Oh. All right. All right, go. Your turn. Read it, Chester right. Robert Young. You truth Here teller. And Here we go. I'm going to find him. <laughs> In the chat room, by the way, I'm oh, getting... You know, I just have to say, I think that was a really a true story, and he just didn't want to admit that it was true. So See, that's the, they all sound true to me. That's my problem. By the way, chat room is giving me advice. They say I should pull a George Costanza and do say the opposite of whatever I actually think from now on and see how that works for me. So maybe maybe I'll do that and see if that helps me out. All right, Justin, what do you got? Once in ninth grade, I was friends with Nick, and he asked me if I could sell him any weed. <laughs> oh, Nick. I don't, I don't do weed that much, and I have no intent of selling it, but he did offer me $50 for a gram, which would be great for me. So I went home, and I got a small bag so I could put catnip in it. I sold it to him to get my money, and that was the end of it for me. I heard a week later that he had indeed smoked it with computer paper. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think it's like the perforated computer strips yeah, it's paper the paper that were from like no, in, in a major 1986. Way. In a major it's way. like nyeh, nyeh. All right. And he was telling some friends that were experts on pot, uh, and they had messed around with him for a bit, asking if he was high or not. He said he was super high, and then started to laugh at him telling him it was catnip. Of course, Nick got mad at me and threatened to beat the S out of me, which he has before, if I didn't give his money back. So I did. 
And to this day, I still, everyone still knows him as Catnip. You know what? I've got what I think I should say, and I think I should say the exact opposite, I guess. I don't know. That's, I'm going to let you go. Uh, you know what? We'll let Veronica go first. Oh, uh, see, I was going to do the opposite of what you picked. You know what? That's even safer than the whether, whether Brian say. guesses against his gut or not. Going against whatever Brian said is so far will net you a win for sure. You know what? I'm, I'll go ahead and say it. I th- no, wait. No, wait. No, no, no. I'm going to go with the chat room again and say that it is true. That was what my gut sure. says. And I wanted to do opposite day and do opposite, but I think it's true as well. And so I does Justin Robert lot. Young. Just tell me, just tell me, does Brian get on the freaking board with this one? Do I get one lousy point against you guys? And the answer is... Come on. Real! Yay! Well done. Uh, Correct the mundo. That's right. I wonder what the the evidence is. Brian, you come to the high school that I happen to every year for some all-night grad party. I'll tell you the story live when I am a senior. Oh, <laughs> and, and I like this story because it gets Brian a booking at the end. Of it. You know, it, it lines the pockets the of the family thing. brushwood, which is what I love the most about it. Uh, I can't believe no, totally, this. totally, totally real. Number one, this happens. I would, I would estimate, according to the last census, that this happens about 15 times every second. And somebody yeah. gets sold crazy stuff, what they think is weed. Well, yeah, but but I would assume that that little boys and girls showing their wee wees also happens fifteen times a second. But apparently, well, it does. It does, which is why somebody tried to sneak it in on I us. I still don't believe but they, that's but they fake. screwed up. See, I'm that with they you. They, they're too good. They're too good. Uh, by by the way, they're uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I just got a message. Like somebody felt the need to send me directly saying, "Dude, you got Veronica. Stop this stupid contest and just talk with her." And so. <laughs> Aww. But I, uh, that's very I sweet. I love you, guy. <laughs> that's the chat room for I you. I don't really have anything to say. This is way more interesting. Trust me. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do this. I'll let you pick the next one. Go ahead and scramble around. See if it's as okay. long as it's not one that we've done before. For sure. Oh, we'll be good. Let's see here. Okay. I got to take a tour of the local ABC affiliate as part of a college course. Left alone on the dimly lit news set for a moment while my guide went to find someone, I wandered behind the desk. I touched the logo and realized it was foam. Sticking my fingers behind it, trying to get a look at how it was attached, a small chunk broke off. In a panic, I shoved it in my coat pocket and quickly walked back to the other side of the set where I was last seen. The guide returned and the tour continued without anyone realizing what was wrong. Later that night, I was with my friends and insisted that we watch the 6 o'clock news. I didn't say why. As soon as they came on, they noticed a chunk of the logo... (laughs) Oh, no, uh, we've got a a lag moment with Veronica. Here in my hands in front of them. All right, there we go. Not surprisingly. Oh, am I back? No, yeah, Sorry. you're back. But you were like you were like passionately frozen in one moment. You were, and it was like at the exact moment when you paused to say something, and it just stayed there forever. But you're but back now. Back. Go ahead. Go All ahead. right. The last line is not surprisingly, the newscast had a new logo behind them the following night. <sighs> By the way, should go ahead and disclaim that this one uh, you you can indicate. I should indicate whether or not they want to be anonymous or they want their name known. Uh, this one's another one of our regulars. And for some reason, as soon as I know it's a regular, I just want to believe everything they say. As, as soon as I know it's one of our NSFW crew, I except, just want to... Except for the fact that uh, that burnt us twice. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, it burnt me 100% of the time, although I do have one point now. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make you go first on this one, Justin. What's the story here? Um, this one is 100% totally true. You know what? I actually decided it was fake the moment I heard the phrase dimly lit studio alone in the dimly lit studio that was too poetic for me that made me totally but, think it but was yet, fake. but yet you decided it was absolutely true when you read the phrase butt hurt yeah <laughs> <laughs> funny i still funny how that works i still stand behind that one i think but her i think the butt hurt one was real but i'm with you i think this one's totally true mainly because it's patrick de la what do you say veronica i say true because that is totally something that would happen to me yeah, but you would knock it out. You'd, definitely do you'd that. have one of those yeah. Mr. Mr. Bean moments <laughs> walking around in the ABC affiliate. Oh, yeah, big yeah. time. Yeah. Be, 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 I forget who it is in the chat room saying this is a total curb your enthusiasm moment. I think that this happens a lot. And 
the 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 devil are in the details here. You know what? Uh, I I will totally admit true. there have been there have been times that that you just don't know like something so terrible you don't know how to react or cover it up or handle it at all. Like I remember there was one time that we were loading out for a show and somebody moving one of my trunks cracked a window and this was early in my career back when I had no money I was terrified and I just remember putting my head down and and off we went. So I I I'm gonna say if it's not true it should be and. The answer is, are you ready? Hold on, hold on. Oh, you got it. You got to get to it. <laughs> yeah, we're ready. Okay, now you're ready? All right, here we yep. go. Oh. No! Come on! Hang on. You know what? Joining this us on the fair, line yes. is the perpetrator of this exact crime, Patrick De La oh Hanty. How could you do that to us? How could you break <laughs> my heart like that? I can tell you the story did happen. It was what? my uncle. It, it didn't happen to you. But it's you. still a real story. It didn't it's not to me. your secret. Oh! <laughs> See, okay, it doesn't count then. All right, no, 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 no. For no, future, no. For future editions no. of this of this game, uh, all secret, all BS needs to be made up out of whole cloth. Oh, come you on. Can't just, you come can't on, just take dude. a story he that happened to somebody else. He got you square. He nailed that. Now everything that. is questioned. Now everything no, is suspect. No, 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 no. Yeah. This, this, is, this is an absolute travesty, and he should be barred from ever submitting no, anything to this that's, game. No, that's, that's idiotic. <laughs> Patrick, Patrick fact, gets to cut fact. to the front of the line. Anybody who single-handedly would make an entire Wikipedia named after me, the BBpedia, gets an instant pass to the front of the line. Did you see this thing that he by made? The way, by the way, chat room's with me. Chat room's so totally with me. They think that yes, this is they, a true they do story. agree that Veronica's shirt is nice. Veronica they looks cute. Veronica that cute. Veronica, <laughs> they say they're shouting TPIA, which, as we all know, stands for, uh, you know, a tapioca, uh, yeah, Panama <laughs> International Agency. Tapioca pudding <laughs> is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> is what it stands for. Let me for. tell you, Brian. What? Uh, Let me sp- tell you when you when you and Veronica are both on the podcast panel at DragonCon next year, that will be awesome. Are you, are you going? Are you going to Dragon Con, Veronica? I am. I already I went, in my hotel room. I went to Dragon Con last year. It was amazing. I can't wait to go back. All right. Look, I had uh, one of our one of our regulars, Dodd Vickers, actually pulled a scam. Dodd Vickers used to work in the hotel biz, so he knows all the right things to say. So, like, he makes a phone call. I tell him, like, oh, I'm at the uh, the Opryland Hotel in Nashville. He's like, hang on, let me make a phone call. And then the next thing happens, the phone rings. They're like, Mr. Brushwood, uh, we're upgrading you to a suite. And then I, I go to a suite or whatever. So, like, everybody told me there was no way I could get a hotel at Dragon Con. I was too late. And I made one call to Dodd. And he's like, yeah, I got you five days. You're at the Hilton, the important hotel. Can you hook us up? Yeah, well, Come you know on. what? You give you give me a shout. We'll see if we see if we can make something All happen right. there. We'll All work right, it Patrick, out. we'll work it out. You've convinced me. <laughs> I will go to Dragon Con. It is over. Yay! Great. Right. See you, bud. Yeah, oh, I hope you never. I never would ever call in or submit anything to this podcast again. You're dead to me. Dead. <laughs> yeah, you dead lie. You're a liar. That's right. <laughs> okay. He tells, he tells the the worst kind of lies, the true ones about friends, ah, which is what good. we've always said. All right, look, we've uh, we're we're six down now. What is the tally? I know I have one point. That's one point for me. Who's got one I, point? I lost count. This guy. You've got all... Somebody, somebody, somebody's keeping track. I'm sure yeah, it's Yeah, chat room. We'll go, we'll go to the chat room. We'll, we'll take one more call while we're waiting for the chat room to tell us that. Hey, caller, you are on the air. What is going on? Hey, uh, can I neuro-linguistically program you over the phone? I do not believe such a thing is possible, but uh, thank you for calling on an on-topic thing. No, you should go. Thing. Go, Joe, try. Oh, no. Try sorry, I already hung up on him. You, I can call him oh. that. Well, he, might play, he might play the brown note. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That would be awesome. You know what would be really awesome is if we rebroadcast. Probably cleaner than half the stories we've read. We, we, we rebroadcast on our, on our audio feed the brown note, and then we get responsibility for everything that ensues. <laughs> Okay, so the chat room's telling us that it's uh, 6421, and that's me, Justin, Veronica, Brian. So I'm saying it's 421 for everyone who actually matters. So 4, 2, and 1. You got 4, you got 2, I got 1. 1. One stupid point. That's all that matters to me. All right, I'm going to do this one right here. <clears throat> give, me, give me a character. How am I reading this one? I want, I want you to do this one as a Russian guy. As you a have Russian to do guy? Russian on this one, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I don't, I don't have a Russian accent. That's the point. That's okay. the point. Bye, okay. bye. Come on. Step <laughs> up to the plate and deliver for everybody. We got a guest here. Ah, Can you no, guys stop no, me in, in the okay, chat okay, room? Screw, all right, stop, stop mocking me. I got to do a terrible Russian right. accent. Please. <clears throat> Uh, Nimnyoga, one day at one board at work. I got nothing. This is terrible. This is terrible. 
<laughs> in Soviet Russia, one day while bored at work, a couple of co-workers and I decided to burn a bunch of useless items behind the building. <laughs> it sounds like a Russian story. It sounds, it sounds like Russian Mario. This is, this is my Russian Mario accent. After making sure the fire was out... Or so we thought in Soviet Russia. We scooped the remains in a bucket. I can't even listen to the story. I'm totally distracted. <laughs> Come on, dude. The story speaks. The dude, Veronica, Veronica, this is what separates a veteran from a rookie. You got to tunnel vision through cool. the retarded yeah. accent. You got to have, look, Leo's got the voices. He's got nothing on this guy. <laughs> uh, I just say Soviet Russia over and over again. Uh, before <laughs> We scoop remains in a bucket and dispose of them in dumpster <laughs> behind building. Before we knew it, someone drove by telling us our dumpster was on fire in Soviet Russia. After emptying four fire extinguishers and calling fire department, the fire was completely contained. When our boss questioned what might have started it, our only explanation in Soviet Russia was that it must have been the kids from the trailer park behind the building. The fire has forever been known to be started by those rotten kids in Soviet Russia. And their little wow. dog, too. All right, I want everybody to get a round of applause for Triumph the Insult Comic Dog. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by at NSFW. That's all I did. I just work, Mr. 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 So- <laughs> it's Soviet or Triumph Mario Bulldog. Brothers. <laughs> Which, by the way, I also love the fact that during your accent that you dropped words to make it broken pigeon English in a Russian accent. <laughs> I never okay. claimed to be good. This is this is the, the 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 podcast version of karaoke where it's like I don't care. Let's go. Let's watch me fail. That's of course and that's, that's from, every show. That's from Jadles, right? Uh, Jadles, which I'm pretty sure is Jay Adelson. I'm pretty sure Jadles is Jay Adelson, yeah, yeah, co-founder yeah, yeah, of Dig. Um, you know what's you know what's funny is I say that, but knowing knowing Jay and his history with the show, that may actually be Jay, Jay Adelson. I'd like to think that that actually happened. Listen, we have we are we have unfinished business with Dig, and right. uh, we we can never we can never not be vigilant that a strike might be might be in the offing. You got that right. Okay, so tell me, true or false, real or BS? Not the accent, the actual lie itself. Uh, I remember the name equals it's fake. The name it's equals it's fake. I remember if if it's somebody who watched the show before, they're all writing convincing. Fake stories that sound real. Or so, oh, so you have stories. you have like a new technique now. You've got a new angle that you're yep. working on. Anytime, right okay. So angle. you've got a new system that you're working on. They're trying to bring the heat, and they're to trying me, to bring it's it totally hard, plausible. And I'm not let you know what? I'm going to switch gears too. I'm going to say because I know I'm. I'm assuming. I don't know this, but I'm assuming that half of these have to be true because otherwise, you know. What the hell are we doing? I'm going to say statistically this one has to be true. So I'm going to say it's true. <laughs> I love the look of torn anguish on, on Veronica's face. Like she really I'm going to go ahead know. and file that one under consternation. <laughs> consternation. Check out the consternation on that chick. <laughs> Hang on. Hold on. Think about it. What's it going to be? <laughs> Veronica. <sighs> True. You think it's true? All right. I'm going to say true. Let's see. Is it? I was stuck on the accent. You were stuck on the accent. The yes. accent was real. I actually am. Wait, 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 Brian, Brian, Brian. What? Can we what? see the evidence before now that we're all locked nope. in? No, because the evidence will say there is no evidence. And then, you then, know. And no. that's no, fine. There's no evidence. You're we're stupid. All, locked for in. Looking. all right, all right, all right. According to this, there's evidence. And the evidence is. Oh. None, Ooh. but I will call or come in, which means it is real, which means We're Brian right. Brushwood is on the board with two points. It's four to three to two now. It's four to three to two, and you have not made any progress, Mr. Justin Robert Young, and I still have not heard my congratulatory Samuel hey. Jackson correct mundo, sir. Come on. <laughs> You correct the mundo. That's right, correct, sir. Correct, correct the mundo. There you go. You happy now? That's happy right. Happy now, bro? I, I am. I'm <laughs> very way, happy. I'm, that's I all I've wanted is to hear the examples. sweet, sweet sound of, 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 of uh, what, what's his name in the Star Wars? What does Samuel L. Jackson play? Why do I not know that? Mace Windu. Come Mace on, Windu. Man. Keep up. Keep Mace, up. Keep I'm sorry. Up. I can't. I can't. I'm too. I'm, I'm blown away with the awesomeness of getting one right for a freaking change. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Uh, uh, Veronica, you pick another one. We got to wrap this thing up. Oh, we're I can't, I can't keep stretch. track of which ones we read and which ones we haven't done yeah, yet. Yeah, we'll start reading it. And if you've read it, we'll go, hey, you, we've already yeah, we read, read that one. We read the Jackass. One. We read the Grad Party. We read the the Dick. 
Let me you tell you, yes, we did it. read the dick. That's it. Did we read Starbucks? Else. No, no, no Starbucks. Okay. Star, Starbucks it up, please. Starbucks I used to up. work at a Starbucks, and like all the other Starbucks, we had regular customers. One of our regulars was a nice handicapped guy we'll call James. Oh, man. Oh, no. His handi- <laughs> Oh man! Oh, tell his handicap was like, missing one of his wait, legs Veronica, below on, his knees. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I hung out with the guy a few times at some college happen. parties around that time, but didn't know him that well. Well, one day James was at the counter yapping on about how he was having a yard sale all weekend. As he rolled away from the counter, I had a mental picture of him at the yard sale with a big sign above head that read "All pants half off." I had to call for backup as I was tearing up trying to hold in the laughter. I never told him as I felt so bad for thinking it. Oh, well, that's just kind of sad. Wait, so the secret is he had a naughty thought? This is, you ever, you think that maybe priests get disappointed? Yeah, yeah, do you think priests get disappointed when people go to confessional and it's like impure thoughts? He was like, really? Come on. Give me some, give me something to work with here, people. That's not a very good story. I agree. It's kind of, I think it's true. true. And by the way, I, I loved watching Veronica read it because number one, it was obvious that she picked it because it looked innocuous because it wasn't like, hey, I bet. No, it was my just the first one I saw that, that we hadn't read yet, actually. It was yeah. right at the top of my, on my okay. sheet. Okay. Well, it was like Starbucks and then it was like, oh, and then I had a retarded friend. And it was just like, oh no, this veered so far <laughs> like, from this where is going I thought terribly, it was terribly going wrong. <laughs> The, the chat room's calling it a story fail. I agree. I agree. All right. Look, let's. Uh, uh, what do you say? True or false? Justin Robert true. Young. True. You true, say true. true. You say uh, true or false. It's it's too lame to not be true. Yeah, you say true. We all are in agreement, which means it's most likely false. But we're going to see show evidence. Go. The evidence is he's going to hell. <laughs> it's eternal oh, that, that sounds good for us. <laughs> And so that, of course, means that is, in fact, Yay! real. Come on, go. Oh, yeah. That's right, GTFO. All right, let's do, uh, what's the score at now? I guess it's, uh, jury's got four, Veronica's got three, I've got two, so now we all just move up one. Let me tell you, we got to do a couple of these and call it. Justin, you want to you wanna take us out here? Sure, sure. You can break away uh, and end up running uh, with this thing. Let me try and find one that we have not read yet. Chat room's very disappointed that that was a real one, by the way. They're like, oh, big deal. Boo! <laughs> Nobody died. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we Nobody go. Nobody got um, butt hurt. And here, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and take on an accent here, Brian. Call. Right. call uh, um. Let's say um, Israeli freedom fighter. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do what, it. what is oh, your? Man. Yeah, what do, I don't know. Because listen, I can do a really, really great Israeli merchant. Okay, you know, you know what? Really I, will, I was going to say a female Israeli freedom fighter, but I'm going to say you can do your merchant accent. Go for it. <laughs> I was hoping for Charlie Day. I was hoping that we'd get to do the Charlie Day. Okay, episode. you know what? I actually, I'm going to hold that off until we actually get Charlie Day on, on the podcast. Sure, do you, do you, do you sure. watch Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Veronica? Have you ever seen that show? Uh, no, I actually don't. Oh, I haven't got around. I'm going to watch okay. it in DVD form. That's what I usually do with shows like that. All right, yeah, you do need to watch once. that one. Very, very much, you know, thumbs up for that. You'll, you'll like Justin, or you'll tolerate Justin much better once you've seen the show because it will remind you of a character you <laughs> like on that other show. Go ahead, Justin. Uh, Give, give me okay. your best Jewish merchant. Well, when I was in sixth or seventh grade, I had to do a biography <laughs> report on Richard Nixon. Because the internet had yet to be invented, I had to do a lot of research from books in the library. In my research, I came across this, radically, <laughs> this radical book that discussed all sorts of crazy speculated stories and scandals <laughs> and the book of a president had done. I became very fearful that my former president didn't, and didn't want to do the report anymore. My parents what? didn't like the idea of me falling, of me failing history, so they took me to the Richard Nixon Library to get the facts straight. I had to go to his the birthplace and all sorts of other memorabilia, but I am uh, still not being convinced. So my parents take me to the courtyard, and there is his grave, and I start screaming. I throw a huge tantrum and attack and screaming for my life at the sight of Richard Nixon's grave. <laughs> and, of course, my parents are embarrassed and let me go out and, and uh, like, let's get out of here. I'm still to this day scared of Richard Nixon Halloween masks, anything of that sort. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I just want to give you—I want to give you a win just based on the fact that you stuck with that the entire way through. Woo! <laughs> they say chat room says nice Jar Jar Binks, jury. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, first of all, I'm torn on this because on the one hand, it's like, what a crazy thing to be scared of. But on the other hand, 
what an awesomely bizarre story to make up. I kind of hope it's false, just so I can be like, that's completely awesome. I don't know. What do you think, Veronica? You kind of hope it's false? Wouldn't you rather hope it was true because it's so bizarre? No, because, like, bizarre stuff happens a lot. But, like, that's so bizarre that if somebody thought that up, mega kudos to you, sir. Mm, that's I'm going to say at. it's true. You think it's true? I'm going to go for true, yeah. Uh-oh. Jury? Um, you know, here's the thing. is, is I hate if, if this is the last one, I'd, I'd hate to just yeah, pick whatever have Veronica's to be the last picking one. because this is going to be... You know, a deciding climactic point. You I know what? Just okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. You're you're getting too heavy into game theory here, which is like game theory says no matter how many there are left, whether it's one, two, three, four, or five, just vote whatever Veronica does, and because Brian sucks and will never break ahead, you'll end up winning, right? So don't do that. But what does your heart tell you? The jury my heart. heart my heart tells all... me it's absolutely true, but just for laughs, I'm gonna say it's false. Ooh. I'm gonna say it's true. Are you really you're you're comfortable with this? You're comfortable with that uh, that thing? Well, is it, is this the last one or not? Uh, you know we're getting near the end. I think you have a solid lead over us anyway, yeah, don't you? No, he has a one point. No, lead I have one. I have a one, one point, over you, point. sweetheart. Oh. One point. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Interesting. Look, all right. You know what? We may have one more after this. We'll see how it turns out after here. If you break away, right, then, then I'm we're gonna, all. I'm going to say true then. <laughs> if we have no, one more after this, you I told you oh, no you game theory. My answer. I told you no game theory. You said false. No, 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 no. I absolutely do believe it's true. Because normally you, you uh, with childhood trauma, especially one that's repeated. But like scared of Richard Nixon masks as an adult, that's something you write in a sitcom. That's not something that actually happens. Or no, you're Patrick really Swayze. Scary. Or, 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 Patrick or, or you, Swayze. As, as Patrick Swayze, he's robbing banks. He's banking on this. Ch uh, the chat room is saying it's a point break fake. Like this is all like meant <laughs> to be a reference to point break somehow. I don't um, know. I, no, I'm I'll, go really I'll stick with false. You'll I'll stick with false. false. Okay, I'll stick with true. Like I, I want it to be true. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to go with you. I'm going to say it's false. I'm going to ride the jury train. So we got one true and two falses. And the answer is, are you ready? Wait, can we show evidence? Yes. Yeah. Wait, oh, do you want to change your mind last minute? No, no, I'm sorry. Just my little window doesn't show what you click on it. Can you scroll down a little bit more? Yeah. In the video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. There you go. Okay. All right. The evidence is... I wish I still had the video footage with me because oh, I think I did good. some sort of documentary thing for the product, but there is some photos, which means it's real. Correct the mundo. Correct the mundo. We now have a tie game between Justin and Veronica. Brian trailing because he's an idiot who can never get anything right ever. Okay, one more tiebreaker. I'm not I'm going to recuse myself. It's just between you two. Let me oh, find no. one more. But, but what if go. we agree? What's that? If you what agree, if we agree, then we then then we tie. Then you tie. So you have to decide okay. if you feel comfortable tying. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Hey, Brian, no, we have to write these down. You have to write them down. Yeah, we have to, we have to put them in Skype. Right brilliant. Good brilliant. Idea. brilliant, 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 brilliant. Okay. <clears throat> I got one more. How do you want me to read this one? I'll let Veronica call it. Veronica, how do you want me to read this one? Oh, um, Swedish chef. Oh, duh, duh, come on. <laughs> 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 You're a bad come on. woman. <laughs> come on. Bring it out. All right. <clears throat> um, secret. I used to deliver the pizza. One night I had a delivery at the trailer park. I knocked on the door for three minutes or so. No answer. I called the number the customer gave. I heard a it's cell a phone ringtone. What? What? It's a poo from the Simpsons. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on. Poo. Hey, it's not my fault somebody calls something out of my range. I'm just doing the best I can to actually follow through with this thing. I try to be like the, 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 the Muppet Swedish chef because that's what she asked for. But he actually yeah, just says, he just and, says, and bird to bird to bird. Right, he doesn't and really have. It's a poo from the Simpsons. Okay, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> I sung along with the song. I can't do it. I sung along on the way back to the store. I sung along on the radio. Just breakfast. Do a poo. You're really good at a poo, so just do a poo. Okay, I'll you, do gotta, a poo. you gotta go for it. You gotta own it. On the way back to the store, I sung along with the song on the radio. I'm doing a poo now. Breakfast at Tiffany's. I love that song. Really? Okay. Uh, I called I called the number from the store phone as it was ringing. I began, I'm going back to like a terrorist. I began to sing the chorus from song to a co-worker. I finished singing only to notice there was someone breathing heavily on the other end. I was told my face turned white as a sheet as I said hello. 
The guy on the other said, you got a pretty voice. You should try out for American Idol. What was I supposed to say? Uh, hi, school. This is blank. Uh, hi, sir. This is blank from blank. I tried to deliver your pizzas and you were not home. <laughs> I'm home. Okay, I'll be there in 10 minutes. <laughs> so I drive out there. And there's a shirtless guy waiting for, Matt, for me on his porch. He gave me a 20 and said, oh, I left your tip inside. Come on in and I'll get it for you. I ran back to my truck and sped the entire way back to the shop. Next week, I saw the same man on the news being arrested as a suspect in a murder case. Wow. Uh, you know, this really took an interesting twist last minute. I feel like, I mean, I won't say anything, but you guys, you write down, somebody's already writing it down. Veronica, is that oh, are, real or fake? Do you want me to say it or do no, I? No, 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 you got to write it down. I guess write Justin's committed, so you could just say it. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm saying false. You say false, you say? Mm-hmm. Fake? <laughs> well done. That's good. Uh, and this one is, in fact, the worst accent I've ever read. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Only part oh. of this is true. Which fought? Which part? Yay. Okay, well, yeah, we're tied. Okay, you guys are fake. So it's a match, and that is it. All right. So our first... Our first big contest ends with a tie between... Again, by the way, it's never not an ended tie. That's true. And I'm always last. So there's another <laughs> thing that's uh, that's Whoa. good. Brian's terrible at knowing truth from lies. So it's a tie. How lame. Just Robert Young, Veronica Belmont. Wow. That's it for this first round of Secrets or BS. Did anyone keep track? Was there more Secrets or BS? I feel like they were all BS. BS. They were so all BS. They were so all BS. Even the ones that were true were totally false. All right. Yeah. Well, and Brian, no, we, we do need to get a ruling on half truths. You know, we need to be better about setting up the rules in advance going into this. We, we we keep thinking that we've got it figured out, and then the chat room keeps being so damn clever that they figure out the sideways to screw things over. By the way, speaking of which, we want to take advantage of that chat room screw you over mentality. You know, we are about to go live on the iTunes chat we're about to have our audio yeah. feed come out it'll be a couple weeks till we have video until then you can see the video at nsfwshow.com uh, and i think it's worth watching the video we do a good job of trying to produce all the video real well but we're gonna we're gonna we we did an experiment with with scam school and uh you know what, what did we do explain to the audience what we did there justin and it worked well very we had well. a little thing called uh, operation i scam Brian, and uh, what we did is on one day, we all uh, decided to uh, subscribe to Scam School in every possible version. Not, not just on one day, but but on one particular hour, minute. because every yes, like hour. three hours, it recalculates the popularity of iTunes rankings. Yeah, yeah. Um, so basically what we did is, yeah, uh, we all voted at the same time at the same hour, and um yeah, it, it drove it up the charts, and Scam School has ever since enjoyed a lofty perch amongst uh, the rest of the iTunes riffraff. It's it's done okay. I don't know that it's enjoyed. But you know what? It's enjoyed Brian, a lofty Brian, perch. Brian, don't don't step in the cell. Okay. Okay. We're no, trying to I'm, sell so, I'm sorry. No, you're right. You're right. You 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 you, you nailed ever it. Ever since then, it's been the number one podcast on iTunes. And <laughs> ever we're very since proud then, to have ever since it. then, I've owned the internet. Okay, let's do this then. Let me ask. I before the show, I was talking to Veronica off the air, and I mentioned that I thought I would be disagreeing with her on something, and it had oh, to do. Yeah, with- no, Brian, 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 Brian. But before what? we get into this, do we want to talk about um, a fantastic innovation in road technology? In ro- in road technology? Yeah. Uh, you know, make them standard in Ford vehicles. Oh, no, you're so right. Oh, d- dude, you nailed it. I actually had it. It's literally, it's written down <laughs> on my show. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm the worst host ever, <laughs> which is why I pay you the big bucks. Because this episode, this episode of, of NSFW is sponsored by the, the Ford Sync. The, 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 the spot, you know, handled by Microsoft. Uh, let me tell you a couple of things about Sync from the very beginning. First of all, and I do have to read. I'm going to read it exactly because I don't want to screw it up. And then I'm going to speak from the heart about the sync. Do you know about the sync, Veronica, by the way? They are also a sponsor on Texilla, So, yes. Ah, well, maybe you have a thing right. or two to say. Spreading that money it. around for it. Uh, Hello. Th- yeah, that, that's good. Uh, let me tell you. The new voice-activated sync 
features hands-free calling, music, podcast search, turn-by-turn -turn navigation. It's available exclusively on Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. For more details, head on over to Sync My Ride Podcast. And to enter to win a free Nano or Zune, send a tweet with hashtag Sync My Ride Podcast. First of all, let me talk about this first part. They are they're giving away Nanos and Zunes to people who just, all you have to do is Twitter out, sync my, with anything. You could say NSF show is awesome, or Leo's a damn genius for picking up NSFW show, or NSFW show is pretty terrible, but Leo's still awesome for giving the money to be on Twit. As long as you add Sync My Ride podcast on there, first of all, that enters you to win a free Nano or a Zoom, but more importantly, it actually lets Ford know that the sponsoring of shows like this one is actually doing something for them. So they, yeah. can we go ahead and ask them to do it now? Can yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do a, a call a to action. Out of your day and, and, and tweet that out just right now, folks. Yeah, Hashtag support the Sync show. My Ride Podcast. Sync My Ride Podcast. And you know what? You can say uh, Jury should have won or Veronica should have won. Or you can say Brian, despite his lack of talent, should have won. As long as you <laughs> add Sync My Ride Podcast in a hashtag there afterwards. But what do you, uh, have, have, you have you actually gotten hands on with the Sync, with the sync in an actual vehicle yet, Veronica? No, you know, I haven't. I, I don't do a lot of driving in San Francisco because it's kind of hard to park anywhere. So no, I haven't I, had too much automobile experience since I graduated high school. Do, do you realize that when I come in to shoot scam school in San Francisco, I always stay all the way out at the airport because there's actually a place to park out there. And, and, I, and I'd rather have a vehicle and be able to drive around and not... Uh, not be stuck doing cabs. For some reason, cabs drive me nuts. Oh, you're actually very close to my other job at Core. Oh, really? Oh, then, yeah, way. I drive right past. Mm -hmm. I drive uh, right past Future. It's Future Media, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah future yeah, yeah. US. Yeah, publishing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, for any of the guys, that I, I think I told you this before, but I'm actually a tremendous fan of uh, the PC Gamer podcast. Like they were the first podcast that I really got into. So when you when I found They're out that guys. you that you knew Dan Stapleton and all this stuff, I thought that was completely <laughs> badass. But Let's talk, let me tell you a couple things about the sync. First of all, I have the old school crappy uh, predecessor to sync. Uh, I'm, as, I, as I confessed in a previous episode, I'm actually driving. The, the old and busted, as it said in the parlance of our modern time. I had the old and busted, and I wish I had the new hotness with the sync. Because the old and busted, in order to get it to control your freaking Bluetooth, like, you know, because everything's got Bluetooth in it, you had to actually teach it each individual word. So, and you had to say it like a robot. You're like, call Gus Davis. And then, and then half the time it would get it wrong anyway. It was like, calling your mother. And I'm like, no, no, call <laughs> Gus Davis. And it would, it would take for, have you, you've dealt with the crappy ones before, right? Veronica? What crappy ones? You've never dealt with it? Oh, that's right. You don't drive at all. All right. Well. No, I don't use like the Bluetooth. Uh, uh, yeah, like, yeah, but I remember that from like, five seconds ago. No. Patrick is really good with them, though. You should talk to Patrick about that. You know what? Maybe days. we'll call Patrick right now and say, hey, we're doing an <laughs> ad for the Ford Sync right now. But here's what I wanted to say about it is that what's great about the Ford Sync is it just listens. It's natural language. You, you say it and it immediately, because the moment you hook up your device, it sucks in all the contacts and it's able to read and understand your language. The moment you say it out, it's it's able like, oh, you want, you know, Gus Davis, you want his mobile, his home, whatever. And then the other thing is, uh, and I don't know if you know this, because this doesn't seem like the kind of thing Texilla was hon would hone in on, but it will read curse words in text messages that come to Oh, you. instead of changing it to duck? That's just the iPhone. <laughs> the it like, it likes to clean everything up. iPhone used to be really dirty, and then it really cleaned up his act, which kind of bummed me out. That kind of weirded me out. But at any rate, what, what happens is when you get an inbound text message, because I always, as soon as I hear that ding, I'm always like, well, I don't know. I've got, you know, a message right there. Could I, should I just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just look real quick. And then I'm in a wreck and I'm dead. And that hurts my feelings. And, uh, but the difference is it'll actually read it out and you can actually respond with, uh, with like 20 pre-programmed responses. I'm, I'm actually really excited. Next time I rent a car, I'm going to get, uh, something like Leo's Mustang, which he showed us on this show. He actually took the camera out and showed us the show on NSFW. You got anything you want Absolutely. to say about the Ford Sync outside yeah, well, of... Yeah, let me just let me just say this real quick. Back in um, 1945, my grandfather died texting while driving. <laughs> so um, the, 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 uh, the Ford Sync system not only is a, a delightful uh, you know, technological revolution in a sweet ride, but it also saves lives. So you please, everybody, uh, take fact, advantage of it. In fact, by the uh, grandfather paradox, I'm pretty sure... That you can e that that literally 
Uh, no, wait. Your your grandfather died after he gave birth to your dad. I don't know, man. <laughs> right. I've tried. I'm trying story? to make some kind of like they're responsible for your lie, but I realized that they came way after the event. <laughs> And that that no. didn't really play oh. no matter what. Listen, Brian, it was it was a one liner. Let's just leave it go. <laughs> Let's just leave it in the dust. No way. Okay, no look. Chuckle. I'll tell you what's not a one liner is a certain video game that that. And if you read my Twitter feed, it got under my skin. And not often do something as trivial as a video game get under my skin, but this one really did. And I sort of like you ever have that where you sort of lose it and you Twitter way more than you know you should like five, six times in a row. And you know, you're just crossing off hundreds of followers every time you do it, but you're so filled with rage and frustration that you can't stop yourself. Have you ever, have you ever, I'm guessing you haven't Veronica. Have you ever had that? I, I tried, I try to keep it to a minimum. Yeah. Well I did. I and it was over a video game and you said just hearing that. Uh, the only thing I said is that everyone loves this video game except for me. And then you said, I think I know what video game it is. What was your because guess? The only one of two, because there's only been two that I've been playing that you would see me playing recently, and so that would be either Dragon Age or Left 4 Dead 2. Oh no! I'm it's assuming of those. it's Dragon Age. No, 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 no! I haven't played Dragon Age yet. I haven't. Oh, I haven't picked it up yet. Okay. Although it is on sale on the Steam Store. Um, oh no! You have. Have you played Modern Warfare 2? <sighs> no, I'm all right. So we have it for Xbox, and uh, I have not been able to get on the TV or the Xbox since it's come out. So I'll it's just, just, it's just been an availability thing. It's not that you liked it or didn't like it or anything like that. I just haven't had a chance to play it yet. <sighs> nope. Let me tell you, dude, it, it's really rough for me. First of all, I can't, I can't play any first-person shooters on an Xbox or anything on a TV. Anything with thumbs just seems silly to me. It's just like that's why, that's why Jesus Colleen came down. Colleen's been yelling at me to get Modern Warfare for the, for the PC instead, but it's a tough sell because we already have it. So Well, that's true. I'm trying to decide if it's worth it. Especially since they're charging even more. They charge $10 more than, than any other PC game for it. Oh, my word. Wait, hold on. They're a, calling a, me a traitor in the chat room because I have, we have it on the Xbox. Taking advantage of a certain element of the population? Yes, Ooh. that's true. Okay, let me tell you what. Here, here, okay, real quick, real quick. Uh, and by, <laughs> I, let me give you just, just three lines. First of all, I was an apologist from the beginning that they were overcharging. I was an apologist that they totally kind of changed the way PC gaming works, where that they didn't allow dedicated servers, which meant once, once, once people could figure out a way to hack and cheat in PC multiplayer playing, there'd be no way to boot anyone out of your game, and you couldn't control who you, uh, uh, you know, where, you, what clubhouse you hung out in, and it would just randomly match you with people. Mm -hmm. But then I played the actual game, and uh, there are certain phrases that will either be compliments or detriments, depending on what kind of person you are. And uh, uh, the one that, in this case, all I could say is that the game is a Michael Bay movie. And if that means something good to you personally, well then enjoy your Michael Bay movie. But if you watch movies and you are not a Michael Bay movie fan, then uh, it, it was I was very, very upset at how silly the story got. Because the you played the first one, right? Call of Duty Modern mm -hmm. Warfare 1? Yeah. What I loved was that the first one was believable and realistic, and when the twists came, they blew your mind because they were in a framework that made sense. The second one is like, oh, what did everyone like? They like those twists. So let's have a crazy twist every single stupid level, and each twist will make the entire level that you just finished totally irrelevant. Brilliant. <laughs> and I was so very... So you're saying I shouldn't bother. Uh, you, you... I don't know. It's kind of like the biggest game of the year. You should. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, come on, Brian. Number one, it's really uh, I would think over the line to say you know you shouldn't play the game. I mean, she should at least make her own opinion. But also, you sound like such a jilted girlfriend. Hang like on. I put up with this. Uh, I put up. I put up with the no dedicated servers. I put up with the fact that you kept. I heard you know, there's been a lot of hacking going on in the in the PC version. Is that true? Yes, like and there's nothing you and... can do about it because they're not dedicated servers, so you can't boot anyone. Yeah. Now, now having said that, anyone. now m almost all my gripes are about the single player campaign. And it's about the story to the campaign. But look, here's the thing. No matter how I feel about about Modern Warfare 2, I'll tell you who hates Modern Warfare 2 is this kid this here. Guy. Have, have you seen this video? <laughs> I have. This poor, poor guy. Okay, I've been playing fucking Call of Duty for fucking 17 hours straight. <laughs> I put on a wig to record so this. Get off set. I've got milk on my fucking nips because I don't give a shit. I just like. And who gives a shit if I make a made a mess? I just want to give him so, a hug and be like, "It's okay. You'll be okay." 
punched the wall. Like, twice. Both hands. What's funny is watch the follow-ups for this. I'm so f***ing upset. I'm like a Kalana pin or something. Just, like, chill him out. Not real. Ah! You think it's not real? Are you calling real or fake on this? Not real. Not uh. real. You uh, guys got other clips on YouTube. Why? Like, why does the community videotape itself doing crap like this? Oh, right, hang on. This guy's got something important to say. We need to listen to what he says. <laughs> I'm still on the water. <laughs> so this. Okay. I hate calling Jimmy Modern Warfare 2. And I love that he calls it by his full title. Like, he makes sure to call it. So, there it is. And it's product game. placement. Buy Infinity Ward. Buy Infinity Ward. Something <laughs> abstract. <laughs> fucking plan it, plan it, and fucking hunt. Get into it, is not <laughs> This is real. Man, that kid's really one. crying, dude. I don't see how you can say that's fake. Not my game. No, it's not really that hurt. Like, really... I'm saying that, like, he, he did this video. To be the kid who freaks out over Modern Warfare 2. It's a big game. He wants to be the funny guy on YouTube. And this is his next video. I'm not saying there's not an element of performance art to but it. But he's not the obviously. funny guy. He's like the really sad, like, oh my god, that kid needs some medication kid. I want to like, go. Who yeah. wants to be that guy? Who wants to be that guy? I want to go. That guy, that kid. Funny you should ask because that's the kid. <laughs> that I... kid needs to go get a hug from his mom. And I want to go maybe, even darker. Maybe and you should get some more milk. Outside for a little I'll bit. more milk. All right, because I just don't give uh, all you milk in my face. You know what? Here's what I think happened. In a dark, blackened room in Infinity Ward, some dude smoking a stogie was just like, listen, there are people who are they're not going to like our game. We need to fix them. And the way we're going to do that, I need you to get me a loser. A loser kid who plays the game a lot and still doesn't like it. Make sure he shows the full title, uses the full name, and has some product placement, but make him look like a dumbass, and then make him punch a wall. Everybody will laugh, and it will make a million dollars. So then meanwhile, a lackey goes down 16 flights of stairs and pulls out of a vat the loser kids that they use for just <laughs> yes, this that occasion. They grow, that they and grow they've been growing in a vat. for the last 10 years. <laughs> that is exactly they put, what happens. They dress them up. Have they set? They have a big set like the the one that they staged the moon landing on. That's right. And uh, <laughs> they, they created this, the ultimate viral Duty campaign. Four and five is Modern okay, but... too. Oh, Call of Duty Four yeah, and Five better. was okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. The best is the end when he slaps the I camera. I was expecting it to be yeah, like bugs Call of Duty Five, but better weapons and. Better things, but here we go. Go do it. <laughs> yeah, take that camera. And now I'm gonna calm down and upload it to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly I would like to imagine like. that he is that upset throughout the entire time. It's like, oh, we'll do a 10% done. Uh, milk on my face. Because I'm oh, 15% done. <laughs> I hope I should tweet my friends about it. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are terrible. That boy's in pain. Hey, by the way, you we're know, actually... Not. Uh, and by the way, I'm totally with Veronica on this is a complete uh, product placement chill. Because look at it. He shows the box, names the full game. That was my uh, idea. That other games are better. No, that it was mine. That, you no, never wait. had that idea, Brian. That the was secrets base. are BS. That was that was that fine. I call yours. BS. Oh, come on. I can't win at anything. I can't win at anything. No, 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 right. no, 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 no. Not even this, Brian, Brian. Come right. on. Well, look, hey, we're joined on the, uh, on the uh, uh, we actually have an expert on the line. This is uh, industry veteran and uh, co-creator co of, of the now defunct uh, Duke Nukem Forever. It's my brother. Uh, Barack sorry, Obama. He's a jackass. It's, Thank no, it's, you for joining us, President Obama. <laughs> it's my brother, Jay Brush, and it's the Butter Brother Parker. Parker! What's going hello, on, Jay? Hello, Hey, what's going on? Did you, uh, video, that video, real or false? Real or fake? Come on, bro. Uh, well, well, I I am in a uniquely qualified position because I've worked with both Activision and Treyarch in the past, and uh, in City Awards in an obtuse manner. But uh, I have to say that um, you you can confirm the that they're growing loser kids in a basement. Yeah, they grow they yes. grow loser dorks to that they that they unleash on YouTube to make their product look exactly. better. Exactly. That is completely true. It is it is it is CEO spawn <laughs> that that have just, just you know 
got out. By the way, by the way, I'm just, I'm just waiting like the for the whistle to sign into the pistol. As James Cole gets trapped. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. The, is that what you called about? Was to was to admit that this was all a communist plot from Infinity <laughs> Ward? What did you call for? What's going on? That's why I called. I called to tell you that it's all true. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. Thank there you. We we go. Go. Straight from the mouths of babes. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's it. All right. Well, look, uh, man, I think we're out of time. We're like an hour and 10. Look, we'll hang around a bit for the after show. By the way, for those of you guys, a couple of things. Keep an eye out for the audio feed for NSFW. Uh, you can watch the video. See you tomorrow at, or tonight, right? What's that? Should be tomorrow or tonight? Is that what, uh, what I'm I told? Heard? I'm told that tomorrow. On, on, on the NSFW Google wave, let's, we have let's, a wave let's say now? this. Unless something changes, our goal will be Thursday afternoon, we strike. Everybody subscribe to the audio feed at one time. What are you going to be doing Thursday afternoon, Veronica? Um, Subscribing probably to an SFW feed. Drinking. Yes. What? Oh, yeah, doing that. <laughs> yes. 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 Thursday afternoon. Oh, everybody wants to know uh, the story about the Frodo Baggins, about both of her well, Frodo I Baggins. Mean, we should, but next time, we got to do it earlier in the show, then. We don't have time to tell the whole story Yeah, now. no, we did run out of time. We'll make sure to do it. Yeah. Here's the thing. For those of you guys watching live, we usually hang around for a couple of, for an hour or so af, uh, for an after party. But every Tuesday evening at 10 p.m. Eastern, that's NSFW Live. Uh, what do you got to plug? You got uh, Techzilla and Core. What else? What else you got? Veronica? Um, I also do a show called The Sword and Laser, which is all sci-fi and fantasy stuff that I do with Tom Merritt. Tom Merritt's And that comes out about every month. And yeah, Texel at Revision 3 and Core on the PlayStation Network. Oh, and I'm also writing a new column for Maximum PC called Trending Topics. I didn't know that. Congratulations. Thank you. Look at that. Are you writing for Maximum PC there, Justin? No, 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 no. I am not. In fact, I've been banned for life for, uh, from Maximum PC after, <laughs> yeah, but, after that whole me drinking, um, drinking the milk and yelling. But you did, you oh, did. Uh, uh, I'll you, put in a good word for you. You actually did write a cover story for Magic Magazine, right? I did. Wait, hold on. Do you guys hear that audio? No, we do not. Do you hear the audio? What are you, oh, wow. what are you trying to say? Oh, hold on. Wait, sorry. For some reason, uh, Twitch started playing on my computer. I was just hearing me, and I'm like, who's that <laughs> Did you have Twit Live in the background or something? Yeah, no, Twit Live just turned on, and I'm like, oh, God, who's that awful, grating voice? <laughs> <laughs> like Who are these That's losers terrific. that have taken over the once respectable Twit Network? <laughs> what is happening? Uh, no, yeah, uh, I wrote the cover story in this week's, uh, or this month's Magic Magazine, all about uh, Andrew Mayne, who is uh, also the third uh, person on the uh, Weird Things podcast with me and Brian. New episode went up live uh, last night, so... Go download the Weird Things podcast. If you like NSFW, you'll love that. And uh, follow me, Justin R. Young, on Twitter. Uh, and we'll make sure that everybody's on the same page with uh, Operation NSFW. I, I, I don't Thursday. normally do this, but I actually do want to take a moment to agree with you. We shot, uh, we've shot. we been doing this, this the Weird Things podcast. As And if you dig Art Bell and if you're kind of a skeptical kind of guy, then, uh, then in general we think you'll like the show. But this last episode was, I think, really – a hallmark episode because it got very dark, very yeah, can fast. We, can we tip a little bit of the beginning? Yeah, it was can either the part where you, you asked me which of my children I would eat first. In just a leave it there. Ooh. Just leave it there. Okay. Let's just say right. if you're anything, <laughs> anything, you're anything it was, it more on Brian dark. answering yeah. that topic. But, get, but check out the Weird Things podcast. is worth watching. Of course, make sure to check out Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. And you know what? I am literally like only 40 followers away from crossing over 13,000 and so if you're doing the Twitter thing, I would love it if you would jump on uh, twitter.com slash shwood. That's S-H-W-O-O-D. Shwood is uh, the last part of Brian Brushwood. Anything else before we wrap things up here, fellas? Uh, yeah, next week uh, we're going to see the return of uh, the Amtrucker. The Amtrucker, like. Brett Roundsville, a.k.a. And there was some oh. talk that we might be able to get uh, Dr. Tiki on the show, which tells me that the subject of the show may in fact be booze, in which case, shocking. <laughs> Shocking that this show would have that particular situation. That's it for this episode of NSFW. I love all of you on a very spiritual level. Not just physical. Very spiritual. I hate you, though, Justin Robert Young, for winning. Oh, I hope you can go jump in a lake. Ah, you die in a lake of fire. Spilt, spoiled milk. Eat my children on the Weird Things podcast. <laughs> <laughs>